Well, there's my 41 Chevy, guys. And uh, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. A little bit of problems fitting on the, uh, the body and the uh, box to the frame. A little bit of warpage on here. In fact, you can see the bumper, how it's higher one side than the other. Not sure how that happened or where it happened. But we had quite a bit of um, had but quite a bit of frame twist on this thing, so I didn't think that that was such a bad thing to have a uh, a bit of a, a wonky bumper on an old former custom truck. So uh, I le I just left that, I left the headlights out and I left the front bumper off. I just I thought it looked honestly I thought it looked a little bit better without the bumpers and stuff on it. And I didn't uh, beat the window up too much. I just added a little bit of um, a little bit of MIG pigments on it. I didn't want to beat it up much more and get it too terribly dirty. But uh, I don't know. I really like those custom wheels, so I threw the custom wheels on. And uh, all in all, I'm pretty darn happy with it. There's a few little fobbles and boibles that maybe could have been done differently. But considering this is my what third car ever um, still getting used to the way Revel kits are and how uh, you know the little fit fit issues on it but overall you know what I'm pretty darn happy with it I think it's a uh, it's a pretty nice looking kit it turned out really well really happy with the hairspray technique on that and uh, I think it looks I like it think I like it and that's the main thing about building models if you like it great if everybody else doesn't, well, you know what, just as long as you're happy with the finished product, that's the main thing. Alright guys, I'm going to finish this up with the slideshow. I really appreciate all the subscriptions and everyone watching the positive comments. It's great. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Later.